Hello, hello everyone. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day. I'm excited today because we're going to be opening up our first booster box of Bleach Bandai Union Arena Volume 2. This set is featuring some of the characters and some of the action shots from the second season of the Return of the Bleach anime. I've got my trusty true Shikai Ichigo double Zanpakuto that I'll be using to crack open the seal and open up the box. This set is also notable because they spiced up the rarities, in my opinion. The two-star rarities for this set will be featuring stamped signature cards. So I am very, very excited for that. There's Ichigo, Renji, Rukia, and Byakuya. And then the three-star rarity, which is one of the big hits of the set. I'm having trouble folding this is going to be, and you know what? We're just gonna rip this off because I just want to get into the packs. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. We're gonna have 16 packs, but the big hit inside is the Rukia Bonkai three-star rarity. And then even on top of that, they've spiced it up another notch further. And there is a pen signed serial number Ichigo card. And it's signed by the voice actor of Ichigo himself, Masakazu Morita. So I am incredibly excited for even the possibility of that. I think it's super, super cool. Looks like this is our first rare. We've got Senji Maro from the court guards there. Very, very nice. The royal guards, I should say, squad zero. And Senju Maru actually had a really good showing in the Season 2 for the Thousand Year Blood War. I'm curious, were you expecting what was revealed for Senju Maru? Because I was definitely not. And when we pick up in the Season 3 or Core 3, that's one of the things that I am most excited to see how it ends up getting resolved with her and the other Royal Guards of the Stern Ritter. Rare Mayuri in the second pack. Let's see what we can follow it up with. Mayuri is also a character that in Core 3, I cannot wait to see his story animated. It is going to be really, really cool. His volume, uh, Baby Hold Your Hand. I think that's what it's called. But, oh man, it, it's going to be super, super exciting. And I love how different his fights are from the rest of the fights in Bleach. We got a nice Byakuya there using Senbon Zakura. Ichigo when he's returning from the Royal Palace. And then we've got a rare for Rukia there, also after she's returned from the Royal Palace. So we saw during season two, Ichigo, Renji, and Rukia were all undergoing, and also Byakuya as well, some additional training in the Royal Palace to strengthen their skills and hone their knowledge of their Zanpaktos, and I think it really, really paid off this season. We saw some epic, epic clashes with them and some against some Stern Ritter like Mas Masculine that were giving other captains some issues. So even though Renji is still just a vice captain, he's out there dealing with threats that other captain level Shinigami aren't able to deal with. Ooh. I think this might be... Ooh, our first super rare... And it's Ichigo! That is awesome. True Shikai Ichigo there. Starting things off with our first super rare. And I like that even the super rares in here have a little bit of texture on the cards. I think that is a really nice touch. I like this artwork. Very, very sick. Happy to have an Ichigo as our first hit in the box. And so there's 16 packs total in the box. I'm not sure how many super rares we're gonna get. Maybe three, maybe four, maybe even more. But I know that there should be at least one alt art parallel card fully textured Askin, yes great character there can't wait to see his story continue to be animated uh, animated oh senji maru with the bankai there such an epic scene mayuri with his zombies in the background and it looks like another super rare back-to-back -back super rares for rukia nice two of the main characters arguably the main characters of bleach we've got the death in the strawberry there, Rukia and Ichigo. Awesome, awesome, awesome super rares there. Happy to see that. Can we see a parallel for one or both of them? Well, obviously not for both of them. We can't get two parallels in box. Or let me know if you've ever seen a, a box with two parallels, but I would definitely be happy with the signature for either Rukia or Ichigo. That would be super awesome. We got Basby Yorichi, so she's also getting an alt art parallel in this set. We got Shunsui, who's 
got an epic moment coming up in Core 3 that I cannot wait for. Biakia, and then behind the Biakia, we got a rare, and it looks like this is Ichigo doing his uh, his double Getsuga Tenshao once he's unlocked both of his Sanpak Toes, his sh true Shikai form. I think it's the Gegetsuji? Um, get, um, I'm terrible at pronouncing it. I'm not even gonna try and get through that. All right, there. Zombie r and car. We've got one of the Squad Zero, Ikaku Madarame, Baz B, Rukia, Yorichi, Biakia, and another rare. Oh, for Ichibe. Is this the moment where he's say, like saying painted black? Using his Zanpakuto's abilities. Super, super cool character. Really unique Zanpakuto. And I like that even though he's supposed to be a good guy, they've done a really good job of making him very menacing in the anime that I really enjoyed. They did the same thing in the manga, of course, too. Some great, great close up face shots of Ichibe where his expression really changes and going from like smiling and jovial all the time to just really like threatening and, and scary at the, at the drop of a needle. We got Orihime, Yachiru, Senjimaru, and then, ooh, a nice Renji there. I think is this when he appears against Master Masculine, and Master Masculine's asking, who is he? And he says, I'm, I'm a villain. A villain has arrived. I really like how they flipped some of the roles in the different Quincy and Shinigami fights where the, Shin or the Shinigami almost sometimes can seem a little bit like the villains and the Stern Raiders sometimes can almost seem like, or at least from the Stern Raiders perspective, they think they're the ones who are being the heroes by trying to overthrow soul society and I wouldn't say liberate the Quinchies, but basically get revenge for their past genocide at the hands of the Shinigami. Oh, Komamura also got such a great scene. I'm a little surprised that there's not a parallel of Komamura in his Bankai form, or whatever you want to call it. Speaking of which, also, here we got the Shikai of Kenpachi. Man, I want to see an alt art parallel of Kenpachi Shikai. That would be super cool. A rare? Ah, for Shinji Hiroko. I am a big Shinji fan as well. He's actually one of my favorite characters in Bleach. I really, I like how... He's not what you would expect and how funky and the vibe. He likes jazz music. And when he was first introduced in the original beginning of the Visor Dark, I actually thought he was going to be a potential villain or rival to Ichigo. And he ends up becoming like a mentor. And I just, I really liked how his story, I, I, I always kind of predicted the wrong thing with Shinji. And I kind of like when stories can keep me guessing. Ichigo, Byakuya, Lil Toto, and we got an uncommon Ichigo. Super rare, a third super rare for Byakuya. Nice. The Nissan of Rukia there, getting some great super rares. Ichigo, Rukia, Byakuya. I mean, how could you go wrong with those characters? All right, jumping into the right side now. We still haven't seen the Altar parallel yet of the box. I'm curious when we're gonna sneak up on it and what character it is going to be. All right, Renji, we got Yuok, Urahara, Namaya Oetsu, great character as well. Mayuri, Nemu, Mayuri with his Arankar zombies. And then a rare for Uryu, who Uryu, I am hoping also gets some great scenes in Core 3, and I think he will. I actually think he's gonna get some great additional added scenes that we didn't see in the manga. That's my prediction for Core 3. I think Uryu is gonna get a nice glow up, and I think, because that was one of the things in the manga, I was a little bit like, as it was going through, I don't feel like it was fully explained enough why like, I, it was explained why he was given the Shrift A, but I never felt like he was really power level, like, deserving compared to once we saw more of, like, especially the Royal Guard Stern Ritter. Those, they were so powerful that it made me kind of, like, think, why was... Oh, I won't spoil anything, but I guess... <laughs> I guess Yuok did have reasons to be concerned in the end. Hitsugiya. Yuok from... I think this is from a thousand years ago. Yuok. And I apologize as well if I'm mispronouncing that as well. I know some people also say Yuha Baha. So let me know in the comments, how do you pronounce it? This is Rukia's 
Shikai, and we got a fourth super rare for Kenpachi Zaraki. Nice. And I'm going to call something out right here. I noticed all the other ones, they say Bleach. The other super rares say Bleach. And then, of course, for Zaraki, now nah, we got Kenpachi Zaraki in the background and a close up of his face. I like that it's a little bit of a different super rare design on this one. Really cool. Even though I love me some Ichigo and Rukia, the Kuchiki family. I like that Ichigo, but man, that, that Zaraki Kampachi might be my favorite so far. I'm hoping, and I don't know if it's if it's going to happen, but when Bleach comes out in English in October, I believe October 4th is the, is the official release date, I'm wondering if they're going to add signatures to any of the two-star rarities from Volume 1. That would be really cool. I would love to see a Kampachi with a signature in English. That would be so, so sick. Yomachika, Chad... Rukia Bankai, show me a Rukia Bankai. Jugram Hashwalf. And a rare for Orihime. Orihime rare there. So we're getting a lot of friends of Ichigo. Three packs left. The final three packs. One of these final three packs should have the alt art parallel. It's coming down the wire. What's it gonna be? Rangiku, Renji, Rukia, Oetsu Namaya. Little Toto and the other Bambis in their Vol standings. And a rare. Oh, for Zombie Bambi. All right. Two packs left. Let's see what is going to have it. Ooh, I think it might be this pack. I think it might be this pack. Let's see. All right. Shuhei. Urahara. Basby. Chad. Shikai, Kenpachi, Rukia, and it is a parallel for the Yoruchi, Yorichi Shihon. I'm, I butchered the pronunciation, but great card, great artwork. Oh man, that is an awesome character as well. I gotta admit, she was as a kid one of my first crushes. If y'all know the scenes that I'm talking about in Bleach, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But wow, awesome, awesome pull there. That is a great artwork as well. One of the leaders of the four noble clans of the Shinigami and a character that honestly, I wanna learn even more about. I still think that there's a lot of mystery between Yorichi and Urohara that I think possibly maybe we could even see develop during the eventual Hell Arc if we ever end up getting it, but wow. Awesome artwork. That is a sick hit. Really happy with that one. That is a sweet parallel. Very, very nice. For some reason, I don't know why. I just, I kind of had a feeling I was going to pull the Yorichi and I'm not upset about it. That is a very nice pull. So let's see. Candice. We got Askin. Lil Toto. Rukia. Last pack. The Bambis. And we're finishing it off with a fifth super rare, Mayuri. That is a great one to end it off on. The Mayuri in his sun form, his, his outfit to prevent him from the shadows of the Quincy. And if y'all didn't know, Mayuri is also Taite Kubos, Kubo Sensei, the author of Bleach's favorite character, and he even cosplays as Mayuri and does a really good job of it. So again, I can't wait to see his, his battle animated in season three, core three. I cannot wait for it. Really happy with the box, really happy with the hits overall. And I cannot wait for this set to come out in English as well. Let me know what was your favorite card from the opening? Are you planning up opening up any of the Bleach Bandai Union Arena Volume 1, Volume 2, or English for yourself? Let me know in the comments. And if you are, what cards are you personally hunting for? Who's your favorite character? And Bleach, what's your favorite Bankai? I want to know it all! If you enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the Manatee Nation if you haven't already for more card openings and funds I do giveaways every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern. But most importantly, everyone, I hope that you are all having a beautiful rest of your day. Peace out, everyone. Let's go!